This is a good example of how not to cut firewood. I had a few guys out cutting uh, over the last uh, few weeks and everybody, you know, running their chainsaw, everybody has an idea how they want, like their firewood cut. But uh, it's a problem when you got a bunch of guys cutting and then you go to stack the wood. Uh, everybody has their own idea of what 16 inches is. I mean, look at this. That probably is oh, about 17 inches, that's fine. But then you get pieces like this. That's got to be 22 inches. And then when you go to stack it, stack looks like hell. Besides, a lot of it doesn't fit into the firebox. There's an answer for that. Well, that pile's getting ready to fall over. It's so top heavy. As far as getting the logs of the same length all the time, roughly 16 to 17 inches. I mean, you've tried everything. Of course, you use go and you lay the tape measure on the log and you go through and you're marking, 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 and uh, tape measure gets stuck or it flies off and you got to start over again. But okay, that's one way of doing it. Uh, time consuming, but it's effective. Uh, another way, I made a buck stick years ago. It just says 8 inch, 12, 16 inch, what I normally cut at, but I also have another stove that'll cut 24 inches. And you're going through and you're laying the buck stick down and you're marking, you're marking, you're marking. And again, it's a little bit time consuming and sometimes the marker doesn't work on the, the log, there's a wet spot. And there's another way of doing this. Now, I'm not taking credit for this, but this device I saw on YouTube and I saw a guy use it and it was easy. It was slick and you could mark your logs with your saw uh, rather than turning your blade over sideways or your saw over sideways and, and just kind of estimating the length of the, the bar. This really worked neat. And I went out to buy one of these and I checked at store after store after store. Nobody had them. Nobody knew what I was talking about. So I went back to that YouTube video and saw what the guy was using or thought what I, he was using and I decided to make one myself. And this is how it works. Simply put this on your Place that right on your bar, and this is marked. I've got a black piece of tape here, that's 16 inches, that's 18 inches on the inside of that, and that's a 20 inch. Simply go up to your log, just tap it with the end of the blade. Move over, tap it with the end of the blade. I'll show you. At the end of the day, all said and done, split and stacked, everything is the same length all the time, guaranteed. Works great. Now let me show you how to make one. First thing I needed was a strong magnet, something that's going to attach to that bar and not move when you're tapping that wood to mark it. Holds on there very well. First thing I did was I went up to the local Harbor Freight store looking for magnets. And I found a packet of these. These are refrigerator magnets or magnets that are used on, on walls to hang, hold things on, towels, whatever. Very strong magnet. Open this up. Uh, there was, uh, I think, six of them in the packet. Uh, there was maybe $4 for all six of them. So figured out, first thing, that's we got to work on this, modify this. Pulled off the sticky back cover on it. Removed the, the hook. I'm not going to be needing that. And I noticed how it was built, and it's kind of like a rivet. This nut on there is kind of pressed in and then swaged in, riveted. So, real simple. I took a quarter inch drill, and I drilled that rivet, the end of that rivet out. Once that was out, this piece fell right off, and I was able to put a number 8, 32 bolt through that hole. And the reason I chose an 832 is because now the rod that I selected 
this was already threaded, pre-threaded. Why? Because it come off an old rusty arrow. Simply remove the, the old rusty arrow tip, arrowhead, and that's an 832. That matches that same screw, same bolt right there. Taking that out. Of course, I cut the fletchings off. Cut it down to size. Marked it with tape on what's going to be my 16 inch, my 18, and of course the end of it's going to be my 24 inch. Just black tape. Real simple. Taking that screw down. Of course, that magnet doesn't help. It keeps drawing the screwdriver away. But there you have it. You're done. It's just a piece of metal to show. There it is. That just attaches right to the end of that bar. I'm cutting straight firewood all day long. Very simple. Thanks for watching.